folks, welcome back to the channel and another video with Maverick Wooting in the Cave Workshop. So, today's video is going to be based on this. It is quite a big chunk of oak and if you remember another video that I did which is a small medieval size goblet, I'll put a link up on the screen somewhere, um, this is sort of like the big brother to that piece. It's a piece of uh, waste wood from uh, Mid Wales that I bought, if you remember. Um, so yeah, what I was going to do was make some kind of goblet out of this as well. Um, a medieval style goblet because of the nature of the colour and the sort of texture of the oak. But also I was thinking of doing a nice captured ring with this as well. So today's project is going to be a captured ring medieval style goblet. Let's give this a go. Here we go. Thank you. 
that's it, job done. And here it is. The medieval style goblet with um, a crest and a captured ring. I must admit, I do like doing captured ring projects because it takes a little bit of, not skill as such, but it does take a little bit of practice to get it right. And I believe that sort of every time I do one, it's always better than the last, so it's, <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Um, it's turned out quite well. I'm really sort of pleased with it. There are a couple of flaws on it, um, which is why I haven't sort of put my logo on the bottom. The main one for me is that the crest is a little bit on the wonk. Um, that's because the laser etcher that I've got hasn't got a spirit bubble on it, basically, and it's difficult to know how level it is, and um, clearly that one wasn't. Um, even though it's got like a, a laser pointer that goes around in a square showing you where the image is going to go, it's not always that obvious, you know, that the orientation is right and things. So it was a bit of a gamble. It didn't quite pay off, but I'm still happy with it. It still looks pretty decent enough, you know, I must admit. I don't know how clearly you can see that, but um, you'll see it on the slow rollers anyway later on. Um, it's got a really nice knot on the back of it as well there, and a few sort of cracks. Not deep cracks, they don't go all the way through, but they're just sort of like dirty cracks, if for want of a better phrase, as you can see. Um, so, you know, I'm really, really pleased with the end result. Um, inside was a bit tricky to sand and to finish properly. And unfortunately, the roughness of the wood, I do have a little bit of um, blue roll stuck in there. Um, so it's spoiled it a little bit. So, so this one is going to be mainly for like display purposes, and it's not going to go in the shop uh, for sale um, unless any of you measured, you know, PM me and say, do you know what? I still want it. Then we can sort of um, have a chat about it. But otherwise, it's not going to go in the shop generally. But anyway, so there we go. Captured ring, medieval style goblet, made from recycled oak. Really pleased with that. So anyway. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making the video and making the you know, the goblet, chalice, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it a goblet. Um, you'll also notice as well, it's maybe something slightly different um, about this video because I'm using a different camera. Now hopefully, oh please, hopefully, that the focus on this one has worked a lot better. The other camera that I had was a standard so like video camera type thing you know it's not cheap it wasn't that cheap but the camera that I'm working on now is my um, Canon 750D you know the EOS professional digital camera um, I don't like using it in the workshop but I've had to use it and hopefully the end result is going to be really good so if it is good please like the video and comment if you if you wish please do and if you've got any comments to make on that uh, goblet then I'd really sort of welcome them um, if you're new to the channel welcome and please consider subscribing. If you've just recently subscribed, thank you very much. The subscription numbers are increasing dramatically, so I'm really, really pleased. And the views on the videos are looking really good as well. So I am so pleased, very humbled, and very grateful to you guys for your support. So all that remains for me to say is be safe, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. See you, folks. <laughs>